two lovers intertwined in elaborate attire. The Kiss is among the quintessential works of the Art Nouveau era and was executed by Gustav Klimt in 1908. The two lovers awaken our longing for intimacy and togetherness, and the gold finish gives it an almost religious character. It's a work that is worshipped and reinvented to this day. Syrian artist Tamam Azam photoshopped the image onto a war-torn building in Damascus in protest at the suffering in his country. And many fashion designers have incorporated the painting's lavish patterns. Gustav Klimt had the luxury of enjoying recognition as an artist. That allowed him to lead a very flamboyant lifestyle. His excessive love life goes well with the motif of the kiss and the intimacy of love. It's a very productive combination for all the stories derived from the work that have contributed to its cult status. The copyright on Klimt's works expired 70 years after his death in 1988. The kiss immediately became a popular subject for all kinds of items and has become a product in its own right. The small Bavarian town of Rudenthal is home to the Goebel Company, which makes accessories featuring motifs from famous works of art. The company has some 50 KISS-related products alone and has customers in 60 countries. Most are museum shops and furniture stores. The porcelain creations cost up to 1,200 euros. The KISS accounts for half of the Klimt items we sell. Every year we ship out over 25,000 products based on the KISS, around 125 a day. Over in Vienna, the prestigious Belvedere Museum boasts the biggest collection of Klimt works anywhere. And here, upstairs in the West Wing, is the KISS. In fact, Gustav Klimt originally called it Lovers. Over time, it became known as the Kiss. What makes the painting special is how the couple seem to be hanging over a precipice with a golden background that can symbolize nothingness or the universe. It's from Klimt's so-called golden phase. And it includes only genuine gold elements. The Belvedere, then the Austrian State Gallery, purchased the painting for 25,000 Austrian crowns. The kiss caused something of a commotion due to both its high price and the erotic content. The woman's face is the main focus of the painting. The couple seems to be floating, surrounded in mosaic-like cloth, inspired by Klimt's trip to Italy. Around a million people come to see the kiss every year. Some people just rush in here immediately. They want to know, where is the kiss? Where is it? And they just have a quick look. But other people take their time. They sit down and really enjoy the picture. It's deliberately raised so people look up at it. A lot of visitors sit together, holding hands, and they dreamily gaze at the picture. Back at the Goebel Porcelain Company in Rudenthal, they're making a special edition of the kiss. One figure can take up to three days of painstaking craftsmanship. The Klimt painting was one of the first to be reproduced by the company, and it's been a non-stop bestseller for almost 20 years. The question is how to take a motif from a particularly high-quality form that fits the contemporary mood. 
in den Zeitgeist, in ins Ambiente hineinpasst. Wie kann ich dieses Motiv anpassen? Adapting this motif can require a lot of creativity. And with figures, there's also adding a third dimension. Eine dritte Dimension kreieren, weil der Künstler hat. What does the kiss look like from behind? Einfach ein Bild. Wie sieht der Kuss von hinten aus? The kiss, an expression of devotion and possibly resistance. The woman is embracing the man, arms wrapped around his neck, holding his hand. And yet, she seems to be turning her head away. Those contrasting elements add tension. There are millions, if not billions, of reproductions, and they've made the painting famous. This picture appeals to everyone. Regardless of the time and place, as long as the reproduction is authentic and high quality, the kiss is practically a secret to success. Gustav Klimt had the privilege of expressing his passion in his art. The kiss has an iconographic quality, standing for a transcendent form of love that also leaves us a broad spectrum of emotional options.